all done. I think. Woohoo! My first print. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. What do you think of that? supposed to be hard already, but I have no idea. Feels pretty hard to me. I'm not quite sure how you get them off yet. <laughs> so we did use the filler material for the slots, of which you can use uh, sodium hydroxide mixed with water to actually dissolve that or you could take it away, so we'll have to try one or the other, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, hey what's up everybody, Russ with RWG Research here, kind of a lab update, yesterday I worked with the high res 3D printer, and um, I decided after we get done cleaning it and doing some maintenance and figuring out what to do, flies love me, I don't know, this one fly drives me freaking crazy, it's been here for three days, I haven't killed him yet, anyway, um, I used the high res 3D printer and I wanted to show you the first thing I decided I wanted to try to print just to see how we would turn out. Oh yeah. The IC injector bobbins. So I got a lot of my other stuff here sitting out and these are actually the two bigger size. Those are the proper size but just for pure reference you can get an idea. So. We did use the filler material, like I just explained. I think I already recorded some footage here, so I'm going to blend it together. But uh, did use the filler material, um, and um, the filler material right here, which can be dissolved in sodium hydroxide and water. So um, yeah, look at the. Uh, see if I can get the light this way. I can see it in my. There you go. Let's see how glossy it is. So, we'll pop these off here and uh, see what they look like. I really have no idea. Um, no idea how quite to get these off. The bottom here is like a soft material. I just got to peel it up. There we go. That's not so bad. Have a look at these while I got the camera right here. So I went ahead and uh, you can see how nice that pinhole is for the wire to go through. Same thing with the other side, and you can see this stuff is uh, like a gel material. So uh, we will peel, scrape, and dissolve all of that until we get down to the uh, all of the uh, cavities that you see. And uh, pretty sweet deal there. Now, I'm not 100% of the material yet. It's some sort of like an acrylic type material. So I don't know how well this will perform as a high voltage bobbin. But nonetheless, that right there, my friends, is pretty sweet. So we'll get these cleaned up and show you the finished result. What's up guys? So, hope you enjoyed that 3D printing video. After lots of cleaning, here's the final product. Turned out very nice. Um, the pinholes in there are also... Focus. I know it'll focus that close, but anyway. Turned out very nice. You can see the slot in there. If you look inside, you can still see the light. See my finger on top? That's looking through the inside. 
The other ones are the same way because they're so thin. That slot turned out nice. It was very difficult to get everything out of these slots. I actually stuck them on the lathe and uh, focus. I stuck them on the lathe and um, took a plastic um, zip tie and and went in each one of these channels. The support material is really crappy to get out of these material. Uh, I believe this is a type of like acrylic resin of some kind. Um, see they fit together very nice. The only thing I did do is I stuck this on the lathe and I barely sanded this edge down. It was just a fraction too, too tight. I almost sanded it too much but uh, worked out well. In case you're wondering, the 3D printer, this is the fluid that it uses. It uses a fluid, all right, and this is uh, that little number right there. And um, right here it says, um, contains acrylic monomomer, acrylate glomoglomer, almoglomer. Yeah, I don't have a clue, really don't. But that is the material that this is actually made out of. Um, and then the support material, this is the support material. Um, it doesn't really tell me what it really truly is. I could look up the data sheets. But um, anyway, so how that printer works is it actually uh, layers these fine layers of liquid. Focus. Fine layers of liquid. And, um, and that it uses a UV light to actually harden the resin, which is a very common practice. Uh, this printer is actually several years old, um, probably 2010, 2009, I'm guessing. But it still functions well, still works really well, still makes good prints. So I'm not quite 100% sure if this is going to be a good use for a bobbin coil of high voltage because I can't find much information on the material, whether it has a high dielectric properties or not. But I thought, you know, out of all the things I would want to print, this is what it would be. Uh, you may ask if this was cost effective. Not necessarily. This is pretty expensive um, stuff to print. I think each one of these containers, the material costs like 800 bucks for this amount. And, uh, you know, you might be able to get five or six of these bobbins or maybe more. I really don't know. It's a wild guess, but maybe out of it. Um, and then the support material probably lasts a little longer. There's not, there wasn't much support material on here. It's actually probably pretty close. I can look at the grams on the printer and find out exactly how many. Because the printer actually weighs these and determines how much is left in here. It's kind of cool. Um, and there are two of each in case you run out of one it'll take from the other and you can fill it up I don't know if you can do it live, but you might be able to actually you could probably just stop the print process and continue on Anyway, um, if I ever get a chance um, I'll sit down and do just a full run through the printer, but yeah, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily There's not much more than what I just told you right now um, It lays down layers and uses UV light to harden it and now they do say to use uh, a caustic soda, which is a uh, um, a mix of uh, lye basically and um, water to break down the support material it didn't really work too well or I didn't mix it strong enough I was kind of afraid to ruin the part and I think it did kinda eat into the part if I let it sit in there longer but you can see that the part is actually like glossy see how the outside here is really glossy and the inside's not this was facing to the bottom of the print board uh, surface and this was actually not so this was like a finished surface but you can see down here shiny doll 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 that's because I scrubbed it really really well to get all that stuff off now they say to use uh, uh, high pressure water jet and we do have a little thing that we can put our gloves in and use a water jet inside there it has a wiper on it and everything a little clean tank but uh, currently need some new gloves because it's been sitting for a while so that's it Russ with RWG Research, Quantum Gravity Research, and just wanted to let you guys know I did print something. Alright, peace and love. Leave a comment. I'll see you later. Woop woop!